God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. My God Almighty. Have mercy, Jesus Christ. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Because Lord God Almighty, your word tell me that the just shall live by faith. And my God Almighty, my faith is not in man, but it is in the Lord Jesus Christ. My God Almighty. Oh God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy this morning, have mercy this day, have mercy this time, this minute. Have mercy, Savior, have mercy, Redeemer. Have mercy, Holy Spirit of God. I have to call upon the mercy of God, people of God. Because my God Almighty, just as my God Almighty, you just to tap in the realm of the spirit and to my God understand the many forces thy God that has, has been loose, Lord Jesus Christ. You see, my God Almighty, many people are so concerned. This is, I believe God is just going to speak this morning to catch up, my God Almighty, some of our spirit. Because some of us, my God Almighty, that we are calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but we are forget. We all forget that we are, my God, and we supposed to be peculiar people set apart. We forget that, my God Almighty, that we have been brought with a price. Many of us forget that we have brought with a price. Many of us forget, my God Almighty, that the Lord Jesus Christ said he will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. You see, what we don't get and understand, you see, we can see ourselves because we are not looking into what the word of God said as we go along daily and read it. Because, my God Almighty, if we should just take a trip through, my God Almighty, Revelation, from one to the end. If we could just take a trip from 1 to 22, we will understand and see, my God Almighty, that, my God Almighty, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. If we could only, my God Almighty, understand, my God Almighty, that many things that, my God Almighty, us as children of God, sinning up ourselves over and getting angry over and talking some things that is not even pleasing in the sight of God. Look what the word of God here show me as I, as, as I look into it, just as I'm speaking. In Psalms 107, the last verse, which is the 43 verse. Listen, listen, listen to the... Listen to the um let me let me read from there. My God and Jesus Christ, God is too sweet. Look what the word here said. Can somebody um help me to read this? Somebody help me to read this because it, it might look as if I am the one that is writing it. And this morning I'm not even trying to search for no scripture. I know God is just going to give me the word to speak. Amen. Because there's so much correction that need to be up on the land. So much correction, people of God. We forget who we are in Christ Jesus. I don't forget. Amen. In such a time like this, I want to tell people this, people of God. Instead of me get get having fear, I am more brave for the Lord Jesus Christ. More bold. Amen. Amen. Yes. I must become more bold because if I get more, yes. if I get afraid and want to my God Almighty shut down, what is going to happen, my God Almighty, to the many that is looking for prayer from this apostle? That's right. Amen. Equal spirit. Yes. Now is the time, my God Almighty, that we all need to be closer to the Lord Jesus Christ and stop, my God Almighty, looking to the left and to the right. Amen. 
The left and the right is not helping me. Only my God Almighty, the right hands of God is helping me, but not the left and the right in the realm of where, the, of where I don't belong. I am not a friend of the world. I am a friend of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we totally forget who we are in Christ Jesus. The body of Christ need wake up and shake up. Matthew that came the other day is nothing to many. Matthew came the other day, my God Almighty, and do some destroying. But still yet, even though Matthew came and do some destroying, it is like nothing to many because the, some places where it was threatened to be, it did not go there. So they are so happy and forget that God Almighty have mercy. They forget. Many forget that is the mercy of God. And it is the same mercy that is keeping us in such a time like this. And people, my God Almighty, are sinning themselves because of my God Almighty election. Because of who win, I am not troubled. I am not going to be worried about anything. One thing I can tell people, God have my interest in his hands. I said God of my interest in Anne and I can tell you all people of God I don't forget who I am in Christ Jesus and many forget many forget who they are in Christ Jesus the just shall live by faith I'm living by faith I'm living by faith. My People are sinning up their self, Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty God. Yes, they are. Such a time like this, some people, so you, you have, you have this morning, some people wake up, their heart is as swell as you blow up a balloon. Yeah. Why? If you know that you have the Lord Jesus Christ, why? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Whatever is going on in the world. We as children of God should be praying instead of sinning up ourselves. We are sinning up ourselves. Look at Psalms. What, what, let, 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 let me read it. So, um, just, just, just look alongside with me. Amen. Just look alongside with me because my eyes is just going through right now, going through right now. Amen. Amen. And, and people of God, I want you all to understand when I tell you all this morning, when I speak it by fire, by power, I am feeling so relaxed in Jesus right now. So relaxed. Amen. I am not looking to the left nor to the right. Amen. You see what many don't understand. I take care of God's business. My interest is in the hands of God. Amen. I am not worried about nothing. Amen. What was the message about yesterday? Be in, be in God. What? What did? What was the message about yesterday? Can somebody remind me? It was about the activ 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 activator. Yeah. Be in God activator. Yeah. No, if you, if God of you as somebody to bring glory to his name, why would God bring shame? Come on, talk to me. Yeah. The just shall live by faith. Amen. Yes, amen. Now look what the Lord look what look 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 what I'm in Psalms 107 and I'm just going through as according to how the word of God is. 
He said here in the fourth verse, he said, They wander in the wilderness in the solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Now, for a child of God to be wandering, why? Why should a child of God wander? Wander into places where you have no my God Almighty right to be in. I want you to understand the revelation of what God is saying. Because this morning God is just speaking. He's just speaking into the spirit of man. Come on, people. Just speaking in the spirit of man. If children of God Almighty don't know, if you're a child of God and you don't know your heritage, something is wrong. I'm not talking about no heritage of being black or white or pink or brown or name it or one of you. I'm talking about the heritage of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you all to get and understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the heritage of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see the thing about it? The thing about it with life, some of us have no business to even calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if we forget who we are serving, it don't make sense. We are doing it in vain glory. Vain glory. Vain glory. Vain glory. They wander in the wilderness in the solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. That means, my God Almighty, people this time, this minute, because my God Almighty of politics, because of election, because of who win, because of this, because of that. People of God, let me say this to you all, my God Almighty. If we don't understand that, my God Almighty, a man can win the election, but I rise up to say, I don't know about you, my God Almighty, you have to know for yourself who is the greatest winner, because the greatest winner is those that will not faint. Amen. The greatest winner, the Bible said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. Eagle, yes, like an eagle. They shall walk and not be re weary. They shall run and not faint. This is a race, people of God. And you don't need my God Almighty to kill up yourself and try to, my God Almighty, win somebody. It's not about that. It's about you, my God Almighty, carrying somebody beside you to Jesus. Come on, talk to me. It's about the children of God to look on each other, whether my God Almighty, even the many that is not saved, and try to hold the hands and say, come, let's go to Jesus, instead of my God Almighty, causing, let, let others causing them to sin and to ignore my God Almighty's soul. Yes, amen. Sin in self. come on people. What kind of behavior is this? They wander in the wilderness in the solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Come on, people. There are many people this morning. They were called by the Lord Jesus Christ. Been, they, been, they were chosen, been called. You have the many that has been called. And my God Almighty, the Bible said, many are called, few are chosen. You have the many that are called, everyone that call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What happened, my God Almighty? They are like a wandering sheep this morning. Come on, people. They are like a wandering sheep looking to the right and to the left and forget who is my God Almighty. Who is the shepherd? My God Almighty, didn't he tell us, my God, in Psalms 20, in Psalms 23? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Come on, people. Didn't the Lord God Almighty say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
So if Michael might, if the Lord said, he's our shepherd and we shall not want. Why are we, Michael Almighty, why the children of God, Michael Almighty, wandered in the wilderness? I'm talking in the wilderness of them, of your mind. Your mind. In the wilderness of things that is going on. Come on, people. In a solitary way, in a way, my God Almighty, that my God Almighty, people of God, in a way as if they are lost, they are saying, my God Almighty, we don't, uh, what is going to become of us? Well, listen to me, no children of God are supposed to ask that question. Amen. Amen. No child of God must ask, wonder what is going to become of me. Yes. Amen. When I look around and see the many things that God has done for me, through even my suffering people of God, this lift my faith up more in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift my faith up. And people of God, I am not talking because I have a mouth. I'm talking because Jesus Christ lives on the inside of me. Look at this. The fifth verse said, Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Jesus Christ. Come on, people. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Why? Come on, people. Yeah. These things is not hungry, they're hungry and thirsty for God, you know. Come on, talk to me. Hungry and thirsty for a man or a woman. Come on, talk to me. Amen. For who they want to see in position. Hungry and thirsty. People get hungry and thirsty, and then my God Almighty end up sinning themselves. Yeah. 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 Their soul fainted in them. Many this morning, my God Almighty. They don't even want to go to work. Come on, talk to me. Many don't want to go to work this morning. Many don't want to go to school this morning. I'm talking at this day, the 9th of September, 2016. The morning, the, listen to me, I'm talking the morning after election. I'm talking. November. Let me let it plain and straight to the whole wide world. Whenever this able to go on YouTube. The morning after election, I'm talking. Many souls are fainted in them. Why? Where is the God that you serve? Come on, talk to me. Amen. That's right. Where is the God that you serve? Mighty God. Mighty God. Where is the God that you serve? Is he, my God Almighty, becomes a mediocre God? Is he becomes such a God Almighty that, my God Almighty, hallelujah, you're going to take up, my God, the things of the world upon your head and it's going to cause your spirit to be so fainted, cause it to be, your soul to be fainted in you? Come on, people. I'm talking to everybody out there, every God Almighty soul that is calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God. My God Almighty. No people of God. It is for the children of God Almighty to look to God from whence come at their help. Didn't he tell us that in Psalms 121? Come on, people. Didn't God tell us that in Psalms 21? You see what people don't listen to me. This is something I'm going to say right now. And I wonder if anybody can catch this. I wonder if anyone can catch this. The word of God told us, people of God, in the midst, my God Almighty, of, of the servant, my God Almighty Samuel. When Samuel was there for Israel as a prophet. And Samuel, my God Almighty, was being the, 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 the prophet to go to God and to come back to the people to give a word. I want you all to get what I'm saying. 
it the word of God said the people told Samuel I think that's that's in um first first um first Samuel let me see go ahead first Samuel 8 verse 6 go ahead and read it go ahead but the men displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. First Samuel 8, verse 7. And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they said to they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me. Hey! I did not yes. reign over them. I, God, yeah. Yes, Lord. Wait, wait, let's let's stop right there for our for the time being. You hear that, people? You see, you see, you see the thing about it. What what us what what the, the the body of Christ? What the whole world need to understand? What the whole world need to understand? You see, people are so ignorant to jump to things to want to, you know want to follow it's, it's a follow follow thing it's not a god thing it's a follow thing come on talk to me Amen. and because it is a follow follow thing it's not a god thing people people my god almighty don't seem hallelujah to understand that the just listen to me the just must live by faith must the just must live by faith who is the who, who are the just us that are calling upon the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. come on people Amen. come on people you see what happened let me say something too let me say something many people forget the many sin that is taking over many people forget many people forget the many things that is throwing up into the face of God many and when I said people I'm talking the body of Christ Amen. because the world is the world my God Almighty doing it and many in the body of Christ sinning themselves and doing it as well Amen. and what happened right here my God Almighty in the midst of everything now samuel was there as the king as as a prophet going to god and talking to god and everything all of a sudden the people cried out in samuel 8 verse verse 7 and the people and the um where, where, where did you read earlier samuel verse 6 verse 6 look the Samuel 8 verse 6 said but the but the thing displeased Samuel now even before that when you looked um earlier up in the verse yes what happened is that the people them they were they they they, they, they want a king yes yes they want a king yes listen to me I want you all to understand what the word of God is saying you know they want a king. They don't. They did. They don't say they want God. They say they want a king. Yes, yes, what you see is going on nowadays. What you see is going on today. People don't want God. People want a man over them. Right. And people are committed all kind of wicked. Robashatayamakunde. All kind of wicked sin. Yes. Come on, people. Amen. People don't want God. They want a man to run over them. To rule over them. And in the midst of wanting a man to rule over them, at the same time, they are committing all kind of sin. Throwing up all kind of things in the face of God. And the hurtest part about it, the children of the Most High God, they are attached to the, to it as well. So many are attached to it. Look at that. I said many. 
Many are attached to hate people. Many are attached to hate. Oh, we need a king. We need a king. We are tired. Oh, we, we are tired of we are tired of, of you coming prophesying. We are tired of hearing this. We are tired of hearing that. We need a king that can oh, you know what? Look 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 in the look in the situation of a king. A king is a person that there's never in life you have ever heard of a person that is a king that is poor. Come on, talk to me. Always rich. Come on, people. Always rich. A king always rich. Have money. Millions. Name it. So, if we get a king that is rich, the richness of that king can fall upon us. Come on, people. I said the richness of that king can fall upon us. Yes. They are not looking on the deepness, my God uh, uh, Almighty, to know that it is God that they need, not a man. Not a man is God. Amen. Yes, God. It's God you need, not a man. It's you, Lord. Yes, God. Man will fail, Jesus. My God. In the midst, my God Almighty. Of everything. Why, why, why you think? Let me say this to you. Why you think the people, my God Almighty, with Samuel art get so get so um disrupt? Because Samuel look at them in, in, in chapter 7. In verse in first Samuel 7, 3. This is what Samuel look at them and said. And Samuel speak unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your heart, then put away the strange God. Hey! And Ash Tarosh from among you, and prepare your heart unto the Lord and serve him only he will deliver you out of the hands of the philistine jesus christ many many let me, let me let me say this to you this morning people of god many children of god are caught in the hands of the philistine this day and they don't know it Amen. I said many children are caught in the hands of the Philistine this day and they don't know it. Amen. Because it is not God that man want. They want a man to rule over them. Not God. Because many are comfortable in their sin. Yeah. I said many are comfortable in their sin. Many are comfortable in their sin. And because they are comfortable in their sin, some is telling themselves, sure, I've been going into the house of God for the longest while and I've been this I I, 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 I need this I need a change in my life. I need this now. I, I, I need to rise. I need this. I need that. And, and and God is not doing it, so I think a man can do it. God is not doing it, so I think a man can do it. And with all the wickedness and all the carrying on and all the this and the that they, they are doing. They don't understand because you see the God that we serve, the thing that I love about him, he do not force himself on nobody. That's right. Amen. No, he does not. God do not force himself on nobody. He allow everybody with a free will power to my God Almighty. They want to receive him. He said, he said in his word that he, his hands are open wide to reason with anyone that want to come to him. 
they can run into him because he's, he's, the, he's, he's the best shelter anyone ever need. He's the best. Now in the midst, my God Almighty, of we are my God Almighty, hallelujah. We have read in 8 Sam, 1 Samuel 8, 6. When Samuel, my God Almighty, speaking to the people there, and they said, I want a king, and they're carrying on, and they're carrying on, and they this and they that. Because what? They understand that the king will put up with my God Almighty, the slackness. Come on, talk to me. The king will put up with the slackness, but the king of all kings will not do it. The king of all kings will not do it. But the king that they are looking for, they are looking for that king to put up with the slackness. May God Almighty have mercy this morning upon the whole world. And you know, people of God, what you all don't get and understand? In my spirit, my God Almighty, I know that I have to take up prayer very much for the young, the younger ones, them. For the younger people, them. The, the, you know, from the toddler come right up, teenager, name it, young people. Jesus Christ, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. They want a king. They don't want God. So in the midst, my God Almighty, of what is going on even in this world, people don't, people hardly want God. People are only calling upon God. Because nowadays, if you, if you should, my God Almighty, go into a sanctuary nowadays, you have church goers more than my God Almighty believers. Yeah. I wonder if you all hear what the Holy Ghost just said. I said you have church goers more than believers. People, my God, my team, a lot of people nowadays, they, 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 they would go to the party, but the party, going to a party is not a place where they can, my God Almighty, able to sit and relax and sleep or whatever they want to do. But when they go in the house of God, they can sit and relax. They can sit and relax in the house of God. While the man or woman of God is there preaching, teaching, doing whatever. It is like nothing to them because I did not come to church for this. I only come to church too because I have I have so much clothes I, I need to put on my clothes. I, I, I have shoes, I have this, I have that. I, I, you know, my hair just just done. I have a nice hair style and my nails finish or, you know, my, my, I bought nice shoes, nice pan suit. You know, the men with their suit, the women with their, you know, whatever suit or dresses or name it. So I just want to go into the house of God. I just want to go in and relax. Come on, people. Is, is, is everyone going to sit on me this morning? My God Almighty, <clears throat> Jesus have mercy. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so right there, my God Almighty, what you find, people of God. People decided, my God Almighty, that they want a king. They want a man to rule over them. Many forget their roots. Many forget where they're coming from. Many forget, my God Almighty, where God has bring them from, where God has brought them from. Come on, talk to me. Many forget where God has brought them from. Mind muted. Jesus Christ have mercy. Mine unmuted. Many forget where God has brought them from. Amen. That's right. Jesus. Mercy God. So they tell my God Almighty Samuel that they need a king. Look, man, I, I, I'm sick and tired of you be talking about you as a prophet and coming telling us God said, God said, God said. <laughs> Why can't we live? Why can't we live the way we want to live? Why can't we do what we want to do? 
I don't want no, no, nobody come telling me God said this and God said that. I need a man to rule over me. I need a man to rule over me. We need a king to rule over us. And the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. Jesus Christ have mercy. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. So what you all need to understand, when man don't want God, when man believe that they are doing whatever they are doing and flying up in the face of God and my God Almighty coming with all their wicked behavior and all their this and all their that, God have a plan for every wicked man. Come on, talk to me. This message a lot not going to join in with this message this morning because it's not pleasing to many. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. When you see God is in right standing and because I have to bring it forth, my God Almighty, this is a confirmation to your spirit, my sister. Glory be to God. The people them said they don't want, listen to me, I, I, I don't want no God, I don't want you no God this and no God that because what I'm doing, I'm okay doing it. I am okay doing what I'm doing so you know what I don't need no God to come and te tell me this and tell me that I need a man to that can my God Almighty be in agreement with what I'm doing and can support my slackness come on people this is all the people everyone my God Almighty is please um, my God Almighty Okay, that's all right. Your, your song better right there, no? Your song, your song better right there. Glory be to God. So what I'm saying, people of God, Hallelujah. They said they don't want the God. The God said they don't. But what God said, all your peace, my prophet. Hearken to the voice of them. Whatever they want, they shall get it. Come on, people. Whatever they want, they shall get it. Because they, they never even know, my God Almighty, that they are, they, 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 they are signing, my God Almighty. Many, many are signing, my God Almighty, their death warrant. Many are signing, my God, tr more trouble. Many are signing into more trials. Many are signing into more, more, more tribulation. Because what they said, they said they need a king. They don't need a prophet to prophesy no more. No more. They have not rejected you, but they have rejected me. That I should not rule over them. According to all the work they have done. Since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt. Even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me. And serve other gods. So do they also unto thee, my God Almighty. People don't need God these last days. People hardly need God. People need to do their sin. People are enjoying their hanky panky. People are comfortable in their comfort zone. People don't believe the prophecy no more that the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. He's coming. Amen. And because they don't believe it, 
church, they want to get loose into what they are doing. So my God Almighty, many forget their culture. Many forget where God said, the just shall live by faith. And many people faith has been broken down this day. Many faith has been broken down. And what they do, they are rebuilding their faith in man. Looking to the left and to the right. But the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. In the midst of this same, my God Almighty, hallelujah, chapter. He speaks, my God Almighty. He tells Samuel, my God Almighty, to tell them exactly, my God Almighty, whoever they, they need in their life, what is going to happen. They forget. We are Samuel, look at them, my God Almighty. See, the word of God cannot lie, you know, people of God. Everything about our life is in this book. That's why I love it so much. Everything about our life here on earth is in the Bible. So in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. It is end time now, end time. It is end time now, the Bible cannot lie. Whatever is going on has to be. Whatever is going on has to be. The Lord God Almighty, my God Almighty, he look at his people and he tell his people, my God Almighty, Jesus Christ tell his people, he said, I do not come. I did not come to change anything. I come to make things better. That's all I come to do. You don't come to change the law. Come on, talk to me. Jesus didn't come to change the law. He only come to help us, my God Almighty, that need to look up to him. Come on, talk to me. I said he only come to help us that's supposed to look up to him, not to a man. Amen. Not to a man. And many, my God Almighty, is looking to the left and to the right. And many, my God Almighty, get so, my God Almighty, vicious, sinful, and wicked in their heart. Very wicked in their heart. Many get so wicked in their heart. What did God say here, my God Almighty? And in, look, 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 look what my God Almighty did. The, 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 not the 10 verse said. And Samuel told all the word of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king, Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, people. Samuel, go to, to, go to the Lord, you know. And the Lord tell him, let them get what they want because they are blind bats. Come on, people. When you turn yourself from God, you become blind. Let them get what they want because they are blind bats. They don't want God. They want a man. They want a king to rule over them. They want a king to rule over them. And he said in the 11th verse, look what the 11th verse said. Help me, help, help me to read it. Help me to read it, minister. Look what the 11th verse said. The verse said, and he said, this will be the behavior of the king who will reign over you. He will take your son and appoint them for his own chariot and to be his horsemen. And some will run before his chariot. Go, go again in verse 12. Verse 12. He will appoint captains over his thousands and captains over his 
fifties, will set some to plow his ground and reap his harvest, and some to make his weapons of war and equipment for his chariots. Go again. Verse 13. He will take your daughters to be perfumers, cooks, and bakers. Verse 14. And he will take the best of your fields, your vineyards, and your olive groves, and give them to his servants. Go again. Verse 15. He will take a tenth of your grain and your vintage and give it to his officers and servants. Go again! Verse 16. And he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your finest young men and your donkeys and put them to his work. Go again! Verse 17. He will take a tenth of your sheep and you will be his servant. You hear that? You hear that, people of God? Because they don't want God. Come on, talk to me. Amen. They want God, yes. They did not want God. They want a king. They are looking for a man to rule over them. And in the midst of this situation, they forget about the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. And even though Samuel go and tell them what the king is going to do to them, is going to do to them, they still said, we don't care, we still need him. Jesus Christ have mercy. It doesn't matter, we still need the king. Come on, talk to me. We still need the king. Yes. We still need the king. You know what, Samuel? Don't bother to, don't bother to talk to me. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Mine unmuted. You see, this, mo this morning is a morning where whenever a word like this is coming, always being mute, 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 mute. <laughs> One thing I love with the Holy Spirit, He don't mute me out as long as I'm in right standing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, people of God, all the above, my God Almighty, the Lord tells Samuel to tell them, this is what going to happen. This is what, you see, in the midst of even the very, my God Almighty world here today, Man have heard. Come on, people. Man have heard the many wicked things that are spoken. What is going to happen? But man said, it doesn't matter. We need a king. Come on, people. Amen. We don't need God. We need a king. We don't need God. We need a king. We are looking to a man to rule over us. Because the life that we are living, we are comfortable in it. We want, my God, a man to rule over us so that he can prolong and help us in whatever we are doing. It doesn't matter. We don't want to hear no prophet, no prophet, nothing about God. Don't come to me with your God thing. Don't come to me with your God thing. Just let my God Almighty, just let me right here. We need a king, we need a king. Just like our, everyone else have a, 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 have a king over them. We need a king. We don't need Jesus. Come on, talk to me. Come on, people. Come on, people. We need my God Almighty. We, we, right, right at this moment, we, 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 we don't need no profit. We don't need no this. It doesn't matter what is going to take place. It doesn't matter what is going to happen. Jesus can't do it right now. A man can do it right now. I am sick and tired of this. I am sick and tired of that. But look at it, my God Almighty. How many are praying? How many, my God Almighty? 
Almighty, respect and honor the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. How many? Come on, people. Amen. How many? We need a king. It doesn't matter. So, and so, what if, and so, it doesn't matter what, what wanna happen. So I'm saying, my God Almighty, we need a change. Hey, hey. Yeah. Some are saying we need a change, but they don't see that they need to change their behavior. Yeah. Man are saying we need a change, but they don't see that. Robocotoria basata mama kunde. They don't see that their behavior is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, let's talk. Come on, come on, people. Amen. Yes, God. Speak Holy Spirit. We need a change. So right now we need my God Almighty to look up to a man to bring a change in our life and don't understand that it will not be better unless God Almighty in the midst to do great and mighty things. Yes, God Almighty, you are in the midst. Jesus. King of kings. We need a change. We need a change. We need a change, but we will not change our behavior. We need a change, but we don't need God to change nothing. We need a man to change it. Jesus Christ of mercy. Jesus Christ of mercy. Forgetting that the just shall live by faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, only those that are looking up to him and him and him only. Him and him only. Look at the crisis. Look at what is happening. The price, my God Almighty, of paying rent these last days, people can hardly manage. The price going in the store to even buy food these last days, people can hardly manage. You go in the store, you open up your purse, you flick out a hundred dollars. By the time you come out of the store, you hardly have any money counting in your hand, and you're just walking out with a little my God Almighty basket of food. Come on, people. Come on, people. It's only you alone go shopping, right? God bless you for being in agreement with the word, Mother Yvonne. Oh, we need a king to rule over us. Cost of living gets so high. And many don't know, is not looking on my God Almighty to know that we have a miracle working God because in the midst of what is happening, He can do miracle, my God Almighty, to change everything. Come on, people, for His children. Amen. For the children of the Most High God. For the children of the Most High God. Look what happened these last days. People, my God Almighty, things are so hard, my God Almighty, that people, my God, my God Almighty, have to be, have, have to be running into store to my God Almighty, instead of my, the people can hardly afford buying a brand new dress, a brand new shoes, a brand new this, they have to be running, my God Almighty, to get the second one, come on, talk to me, come on, talk to me, My God Almighty. And people don't understand, my God Almighty, that God is the only one that can make things better. He's the only one. God is the only one that can make things better. No one else. 
Nobody else can make it better but the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody. And men, my God Almighty, are riding my God Almighty over hills. Riding over hills in ignorance. Eh? God did not, God, listen to me. God did not say that my God Almighty, he, he come to stop people from voting and doing all this and what have you. That's not about it. That's not about it. But it's the way my God Almighty, the children of God, going about it. The way the children of God has gone, gone about it. Build up all kind of hatred in their heart against their own, my God Almighty, brothers and sisters, in the body of Christ. People of hatred in their heart. Because many, my God Almighty, of their job. Because many already have citizenship. Because many already have their green card, their resident. They don't care about the rest that don't have any. So they build up in their heart to say they don't care what happened to the rest. They could go to hell for all their cares. I, I, I can hardly hear your mother even come up because it's you alone supporting this message right now. Come on, talk to me. I can hardly hear you. Many are saying, my God Almighty, they don't care about my God Almighty, a person. They don't care what robot shot I feel the power of God in me, huh? Many don't care what happened to a sister or a brother because all is well with them. Come on, talk to me. All is well with them. The spirit of ignorance rise up on the body of Christ. People are my God Almighty more concerned to know that they are okay, but for another person they don't care. People don't seem to get it and understand what is going on in this world in a people of God. The spirit of my God Almighty, what? Prejudice rise up again. This is all you see. The spirit of prejudice rise up. Come on, people, talk to me. Hatred, bitterness, rise up in the heart of men. I said hatred and bitterness rise up in the heart of many that is calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And because the hatred and the bitterness rise up, they are saying they don't care, they don't care. How can you not care when Jesus cares? How can you not care when Jesus cares? But I said, the word of God said, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. If the just should only get themselves together and come to understand that the God of Abraham said, He will never leave you nor forsake you. People of God, get that in your spirit. Amen. For those that are looking, my God Almighty, and want for the King of Kings to reign and to rule over their life, instead of looking for a king, my God Almighty, a man to rule over them. Amen. Not no 
you what happened? Many wickedness rise up in the heart of men. Come on, talk to me. Come on, people. Come on, people. Jesus! 